Oh god, what? Ugh, what's that god awful noise? Oh, it's just my friend Joe. Hey man, what's going on? Um, I hear you're uh, struggling with your technique there a bit. You want some pointers? Sure. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As you saw from the intro, my friend Joe here is really struggling with his technique on the saxophone, and I know a lot of you might be struggling, or your students might be struggling as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to teach smooth jazz saxophone technique. You know, it's a really nice day outside. I believe it's good to get out and get some fresh air every once in a while. You want to go outside? Let's do that. So we're going to continue the lesson outside. All right, here we are outside and we're going to be working on technique. So the first thing you're going to want to have your student do is take the saxophone off of the neck strap. Why don't you do that? Great. You're going to want to stand if you're right handed with your left shoulder facing the target. If you're left handed, put your right shoulder facing the target. So let's do that. Let's turn them around here. You're going to point with your left hand out towards your target. Grab your right hand on the tenor, lean back, and just give it a rip. Let's see what happens the first time. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> so that wasn't that great. Let's get a marker. So I'm really big on tracking progress when we teach and when I show my students things. So we're going to use these beautiful Kenny G pictures as markers. So let's, let's mark where the first one is. Went about this far. So it's not bad for a first try. So let's keep that there. Here we go. Put that. Beautiful. Put it right there. So, uh, get a little dirt on it. It's no problem at all. Let's hand it back. Let's get it going. Let's try one more time. So what you didn't do is you didn't get your right arm back far enough. So you want to really make sure. I call this, this is called opening up. Or really stretching out in the music. You know, some people talk about, oh, you got to stretch the music. You got to stretch out. What they're really talking about is your shoulders. So, what I want you to do this time, Joe, is stretch your right shoulder back even further to get more of an extension. When people talk about upper extensions and extensions in music, they're talking about your arm extending back so you could launch the tenor even further. So let's try it. So extend that arm back really far, even further, even further. There you go. Give it a rip. Oh, even better. Wow. Even better. We had a decapitation and that's, that's to be expected. Don't worry about the decapitations. They can be fixed. And by fixed, I mean doing it again. So let's check that one out. So having these, these divots here is a great thing. This is why I recommend doing it outside. This is why I recommend doing it outside. Put it in there, put a little stick on top. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so sometimes you may have a decapitation like this. If it, if it doesn't quite fit in here anymore, you know what? Just, just, just get rid of it. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Now, I think the biggest problem that Joe had on that last throw was when he did the extension, he extended out, he didn't really tuck the elbow in enough, and you gotta really crank it in. So what I want you to focus on, the extension, the shoulder, both arms out, but then the left arm, really crank it in. Let's see how far you can get it. I think this is the one. All right, guys, let's see if this technique has improved. Okay, remember extension, all the way out, and really tuck that left arm in. Oh my God, Look, I'm gonna go down there. We're gonna see exactly how far he threw it. Okay, let's, Joe, this is amazing. Okay, don't mind me, walking down the hill. Look at this. There was the second throw, all the way down here. Joe, I can't believe you did it. I think he's got the technique. Obviously, you can see the tips that I provided in this video have worked incredibly well for Joe. You go back to the beginning and listen to how horrible he sounded. Oh, God. What? Ugh, what's that God awful noise? Compared to now, it's like night and day. You can do this with yourself and your own students as well. All you're going to need is the proper instrument. You're going to need some markers to track your progress as you go through. And you're going to need to obviously work on your technique to get rid of the bad saxophone. I would just like to thank all of you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if this video has helped you and show me some progress that you've had with your own students or with your own playing. If you have any other tips about smooth jazz saxophone technique, I'd love to hear them as well. Please subscribe to my channel to be notified of everything new that's coming out. Browse around, check out some of the other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.